Hello everybody, Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive bringing you Tidy Text Adventures, our latest tool allowing you to create text-based adventure games in the Unity Editor. I'm going to be showing you a little bit of the features and functions and the general layout of the tool, and in the next few videos we'll be making a tutorial showing you how to put together your very first text-based adventure game. So let's get started. Window, Tidy Text Adventures. And here we are. The tool comes preloaded with the story. You can actually play that at strawman.dopplerinteractive.com if you are so inclined to get an idea of the sort of things you can do with the tool. Now your adventure is made up of many rooms. This could be the bedroom, the attic, castle exterior, the interior of your mind, anything like that. Uh, they're made up of a few descriptions for when the user enters, re-enters, examines, when they're standing outside the room and it says the room is to the north, uh, anything like that. Uh, every item in the in the tool has uh, an accepted name to give your language a more organic feel. In this case, the bedroom is referred to as the bedroom, but the living room could be the living room, the lounge, uh, anything like that. Your rooms have items in them if you so choose. In this case, the bedroom has the coffee cup. Where else would it be? Uh, and all these rooms are put together in the map. Now, the map is where you lay out all of the rooms in your world, uh, as you can see here. You define the connectedness between your rooms. Uh, they could be just open, go back and forth. Uh, maybe a room is locked. Um, maybe you've got a, a one directional connection between rooms. Maybe slide down the ramp and you can't get back up because it's covered in butter, something like that. Um, the room is fully three dimensional, so you don't just go northeast, southwest. You can go up, down, up to heaven, down to hell, uh, etc. Now your rooms are populated with items. We're starting to get to the meat of the situation now. Uh, an item is something maybe you can pick up. Maybe you can't pick it up, maybe you can just use it. Uh, maybe you can't even see it and it's more theoretical. Let's give an example in the order which we just mentioned. Uh, maybe you can pick up the coffee cup. Maybe you can't pick up the lever, but you can certainly give it a waggle. And maybe you can't even see the self, but you certainly want to act upon it, as in the use case, kill self. Uh, your items, just like the rooms, have a bunch of accepted names. Uh, a cup might be a cup or a mug or a containment device, I don't mind. You get a few descriptions, like when you pick it up, uh, when you see it in the room, when it's in your inventory, when you examine it, uh, and you get a few options. Can it be picked up? And is it shown when you're in the room? Now our items are acted upon by use cases. This is the real core of the engine. Uh, a use case will target an item. In this case, we want to fill a coffee cup, so it will target the coffee cup. Often it will incorporate another item. So in this case, it's the pot of coffee. It's triggered by a word, so maybe fill or pour or use, which will work for fill coffee cup with coffee, use pot of coffee on coffee cup, pour coffee into cup, it will all work. You get a few descriptions and maybe you are restricted to a particular room. In this case, just do that in the kitchen. I'm not carrying a pot of coffee all around the house. And it will trigger a few actions. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. The other interesting thing about use cases is that you can have a, uh, a victory condition. So this could be the, the ultimate use case in your game. Uh, it could be a death in that you've accidentally stepped into a spike trap and you are now dead and it will end the game. Or it could be a positive thing in that you have just got ye flask and the game is now over. I will also add to a, a score if you like, so you can keep a, a score like uh, 10 of 20 actions completed. I think it gives a nice sense of progression. So back to these actions, a use case will trigger actions. Now, actions are the very, very smallest component uh, in the tool, and it's basic things like uh, switch the coffee cup to the cold cup of coffee in the kitchen. So if you pour a cup of coffee, it will just remove the coffee cup item from the kitchen, add the cold cup of coffee to the kitchen, and that's it. Uh, your use case is really just made up of many of these. And that's actions. Now we're getting toward the end of the tool. Are you excited? I'm excited. This is my billionth take. Let's go to language. Uh, language defines the fundamental language that the user will use to interact with the tool. Things like north, south, east, west, uh, the suffixes and prefixes you use to describe rooms when you're not in them. To the north, you see the kitchen. The actions, look, take, open inventory, uh, your functions, which is the new game, quit, help. Help is very useful. Uh, and the failure language, if somebody can't do something, you can't move there, you can't see that, you can't get e-flask, you can't do that, things like that. Uh, and finally, we'll land on settings, we'll land on settings. Uh, you can just edit a few of the ways uh, the, the game is saved. Everything is saved as plain text, you can pop it on a server if you like. Uh, it's all relatively human readable. Um, 
it has integrated scheduled backup. So if you're typing, typing along, your computer catches fire because you're just going so fantastically, there will be a save every however many minutes you set, six by default. Um, so that's a bit helpful. Uh, let's pop back to the beginning. A few more features you might want to know. You'll notice there's contextual help for every screen uh, because, well, we're just nice that way. Uh, we've got a little help button down the bottom left here. Click it, take you to a web page. I've put together some documentation, which if you know me is quite rare because I don't like documenting things, but it's pretty good and it should help you. Uh, this has been the Tidy Text Adventures from Doppler Interactive. Uh, feel free to send me an email if you've got any questions. Feel free to play strawman.dopplerinteractive.com if you want to see what the tool can do. Um, and enjoy.